guys, it's Michelle. I am doing products I'm loving at the moment because I can never do it on the first, which I say in every one of these videos. So, I will continue onward. Anyway, the first one, and I've been in love with for over a month. Now, I got these actually at Marshalls. Normally, I get them at TJ Maxx. And this is comparable to $15, but I paid only $8. Now, I know Pink Sparkles uses one of their soaps. It's a lemon one. I remember her hauling it. She absolutely loves it. And it's from that same company. This is from the Scottish Fine Soaps Company. And it comes in this nice box. They, they have different packaging for different things. But this is the Oatmeal Soap. And it's made in Scotland. Finest Triple Milled Soap Bars. And I love the packaging. And that's part of the reason why I bought it. The other reason why is because it's an oatmeal soap. And with my eczema, I'm always looking for products oatmeal based and stuff like that to try out. I wish you could smell this box. Now I'll show you what it has for me. I've only used one. I'm still working on this bar and I've had it for over a month. Every day I use this bar. Now. Oh my God. Anyway, what I loved about it is when I looked at the bars themselves, you can see the oatmeal in here. Look how beautiful it is. Come on, focus. Isn't that a beautiful bar of soap? And it's a decent size. And I use this thing every day, and I haven't killed it yet. It smells incredible. The oatmeal gives you a little bit of an exfoliation, so I haven't had to use my salt scrubs or anything in a while because of the light exfoliation and it's oatmeal, so it also helps, um, I don't wanna say combat it, uh, dry skin. It does help, but it's also got soothing properties, so it's not making you raw as well. And I normally finish off with a lotion, typically vino or some whatever lotion flavor the week I'm working on. But I didn't expect much from this. I have yet, this is my first experience with the Scottish Fine Soaps Company. I do have other ones made by them that I haven't gotten a chance to use yet. But I thought I would try this one because the weather here has been extremely cold. It's really been bad on skin. Even people with out skin problems are having trouble with very, very ashy skin. So I figured I would try it and see how it worked. I figured at the very least, it's just an extravagant bar of soap, but I have been so incredibly impressed with this product. I can't wait to try their other soaps in the line. So when I go out to places that carry this, I will definitely be um, repurchasing and buying from this company again. I've smelt almost every soap they have out and the soap smells incredible and like i said i've been using this bar that's missing for over a month and i, I mean it's it's almost dead now but i've been using it the entire time and it's still there i have bought bars of soap bigger than that that didn't last that long so i'm extremely happy with that the next one i'm gonna do just to get out of the way um i'm probably gonna kill it today it's a candle that I actually got last year, but I am loving it. Oh, this is, oh, that's my little topper. It's got little grapes on it. Um, this is Yankee Candle Almond Cookie. Now this typically comes out um, around Christmas time. I know um, there's a German cookie that my grandmother used to make before she passed that my mother makes and stuff like that. They look like a little crescent moon actually that's been dipped in sugar. And this, smells just like those cookies oh my god i'm trying not to get my nose into it because i don't feel like having a soot nose but this is divine um next christmas i will be buying another one of these it is so good oh my god it's so good i love this thing so actually this i have many favorites from yankee candle but this is definitely like in my top four it's just warm and delicious and even though it's a christmas cookie in my family um when i smell this scent to me it's not in your face christmas. even though i get those memories i feel like this could be burnt pretty much year round because i know we have a similar dessert that's not an almond cookie per se but is um it's made out of almond paste or marzipan paste that well or marzipan you know what why do i keep doing that i always say i'm never going to pronounce it that way again because i always have that one person that corrects how i say things tomato tomato i'm sorry but i'm just going to call it marzipan like i always had since i was a little kid anyway so there is another dessert we make with marzipan paste 
and that's around Easter. So that's what it kind of reminds, it has that scent of both items. So to me, I feel like this is a year round thing. I wish Yankee Candle would carry this year round. Yankee Candle might be something you want to think about. Just saying, you know. All right, next are makeup products and face products. This next thing I'm going to show you now, I really like this company a lot. I use quite a few of their products. They're a fairly decent pro uh, company. When I finish this one, I'm going to look around for a different one. So comment down below. This is St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Facial Moisturizer. Visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I don't have wrinkles or anything like that yet. Knock on wood, right? But um, I believe in treating them prior, which is why I use these kinds of moisturizers so that before your skin starts to get the creases and the wrinkles that normally happen with age, I started using one of these, um, I started when I was 21 using these kinds of moisturizers just to kind of help. I mean, we're all going to get to that point, but I'm just trying to like help my skin, you know, last a little longer. You know what I mean? So this stuff smells really good. It's really light. And like I said, with the weather, you can see I've used quite a bit. Can you see in there? It's like halfway gone. Um, it's one of those things, especially like I said, with the weather here being so horrid, my, your skin dries out and you definitely need to counteract that. So I've been using that. Now, even if you have oily skin, because I do tend, I have combination skin, but when I was younger, I had oily skin and I used to think, oh, I can't use moisturizers because it's gonna make it worse. It's not going to. The, white, the, bleh, the right moisturizer will kind of help with that. So like, that's what is so great about Lush. There's so many different moisturizers if you have those kinds of problems and they can kind of like help you out with that. But this is the one I'm currently using. And I kind of want to try a different one after this. I haven't figured out what I'm going to try. Because this was just one I found at Walmart. And I was like, well, that sounds good. I've heard good things about it. I'll try it. And I did like it. But if you guys have something else you'd like to recommend, let me know down below. I'd be very curious about that. Next on the subject of um, face. I love this stuff. This is like one of my holy grail items. And it's really reasonably priced. A lot of companies make it now. But me personally, I like the one, well, it's not original, but the, one of the first ones that came out is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This stuff is great. Now, I'll name off the list of things because it says 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, SPF 30 protects, and zero oils and other heavy ingredients. Now, it is very light, which is what I love about it. And I do like how it's not like a foundation, which is very cakey and thick and just kind of like, it's like a mask where this isn't. So like you still have your natural beauty. And I forgot what I paid for this, but it's under $10. Now, BB cream was originally created for spas. Like if you do chemical peels and stuff and people would just use it. It was actually created in Germany. People would use it after they did these spa things and chemical peels and stuff like that. I believe it wasn't tinted at the time. No, it was tinted at the time. Anyway, um, Asia and the Asian countries got a hold of it and they started using it just without those kinds of things, just using it, you know, to beautify. And then now we're using it in the States. Now, so this isn't a new concept. It's been out for quite some time. But um, I love this stuff. I don't always use it. Like I said, again, with the weather being what it is, because it is a moist, lightly moisturized and stuff like that, and my foundation, even though I like it, um, can be very drying. So. I do like using this product. I use it a lot more in the summertime. It is a great product. It is a reasonably priced product. And you can't go wrong. Like every time I use this, like if I go away from it for a while and I come back to it, I'll use it and be like, what? why? Why did I walk away from you? I love you so much. Do you know how much I love you, baby? I love you so much. Anyway, so this is one of my Holy Grail items. I got two more items to share with you. Um, the one I'm going to show you, and I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm wearing both these products right now. But this one, I might have shown you before, but I keep coming back to it. Now, Physician's Formula makes some great products. I really love Physician's Formula. I've used their eyeshadows. Um, not so much their mascaras. I wasn't a big fan of that. But this is probably one of my favorite items from them. Now, this is a light bronzer. This is in Shimmer Strips Custom Bronzer, Blush, or Eyeshadow um, in the color Vegas Strip. I know you probably can't see it. I know you can still buy this now, can you see? This is one of those, I would say, like neutrally ones that you can use for any skin tone kind of thing. You can see I've mixed it up a little bit. I use this on my eyes um, as like the base color. I don't know if you can see, I got a little green on there, but I use this 
especially for work because I like keeping it kind of more neutral. I use this almost every day. I love this. And as you can see, I haven't made a dent and I've been using this thing for months. For what you're paying for, because I know that Physicians Formula can be a little bit more pricey, I can't complain because before I started using Physicians Formula, when the first time I bought it, I had a coupon or something. And I winced because at the time, this was probably one of the more, because um, I wasn't into Mac or anything like that. I was quite young actually when I bought this. I kind of winced at it. I was like, I can't believe I just spent this money on a drugstore item. Actually, I probably could have gotten a MAC lipstick for what I paid for this at the time. So then I didn't use it for a while. Just kind of like, because I was so disgusted with myself. And it wasn't that I didn't have the money. I Guys, you know how cheap I can be. So anyway, I started using it because I, like, I get into these things where I'll save something for a while and then I'll finally get to using it. So I started using it. And the more I used it, the more I started loving it. And I have had their eyeshadow palettes as well, and the products last freaking forever. The, that palette actually crumpled to pieces before I could finish using it. I, I can't complain. For what you're paying for, you're getting one hell of a deal when you think of how much product you're getting. I'm very happy with this. I totally recommend you using it. I don't really use bronzer that much because I'm as pale as pale can come. So it looks funny on me. I gotta go to Sephora because the one girl said next time I come in, she'll help me out with that. So maybe she can point me in the right direction as far as that goes. But I've used this kind of like as a blush. And of course I use it as an eyeshadow. I love this stuff. And I have used it a little bit like down here just to give me a little bit of a shimmer. But um, not too much other than that. But I definitely, definitely would recommend this. And this is in the color Vegas Strip. I'll show you. It's got all makeup on the back. I'm sorry, guys. As you can tell, I have loved the heck out of this product. Definitely. Gotta go try it. Now, last and certainly not least, excuse me, is, um, this is made by CoverGirl. I forget the actual name. I think it's, like, Fierce or something like that. But this is, you'll know when you see it. This is my new mascara that I got. It is, oh, wait, Flamed Out. Durr. It has flames all over it. I got this one in Very Black Blaze. Now, at first when I saw the brush, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. It's a very big brush, look, compared to my face. Right there by my eye. It is a very, very big brush, which I was like, are you kidding me? How am I going to control this thing? So the first time I used it, I'm not going to lie, I did not like it. I thought this was a waste of money. A little upset. But once I got used to it, I really, I'm wearing it now. I really do like it. It's, it's something different for me because I really love how it looks. It makes them like pop out more. Definitely flared out a little bit. So I was very, very happy with this. Plus the packaging. Not that packaging. Packaging has part to do with the product. I, we're not going to buy it if we're not attracted to it. So the packaging did help this product with me. But would I buy this again? Yeah, absolutely. This was a very good mascara. There's other ones that I've used that are like, oh, heck to the no, I'm never buying it again. But this one is in that area where if it was on sale or if I want, I'm in a rut and I don't know what one to pick, I would definitely go back to this one. This was definitely good. Anyway, guys, that is it for my items I am um, loving at the moment video. I'm going to be doing another video very, very shortly on some of the things that we've recently got, it's going to have to do with my jewelry and stuff like that. So Mermaid Couture is going to get a bit of a um, pick-me-up. It's going to be... I'm very excited. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.